Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is the part number two of PPC advertising series and I'm very excited about the next video. I hope you guys watched the first video. Please go ahead and watch it because I'm really doing it in a small segment to make sure that you really guys get the most out of those videos and also trust me trust me no matter how good you are in ppc it's good to know the basics and then to refresh your memory to be able to get into it and this is a great great series for from beginners to uh to uh, uh relatively advanced people really really gonna help you to understand it because i think there's not enough videos to explain all uh the uh, all the ppc advertising amazon ppc advertising very well from the beginning to the end so i want to make sure i really give you everything so you have a great foundation that you can build on you can iterate and you can make sure that you have your own spin on every campaign or in every strategy that you want to do so i just want to make sure that you really understand it from now and we uh and we achieve the best results at the end and you can do your own strategy with it so that's been said this is part number two and today we're going to talk about the new advanced features that amazon has uh that released in the past few months i don't know five six months but there weren't a lot of talk about it so i just want to make sure that you guys really be up to date and understand them very well so uh, a lot of things that happen on amazon is basically the display of ppc is being changed and i also heard that will be changes coming up later on for amazon ppc at the end of 2019 also so but we'll get up to it we will once they release it i'll make sure that you guys up to date with it but now what we need to do is basically the following is we're going to talk about the new feature now the new feature they released there is something called portfolio there is something called ad placement uh there is um uh, there is uh, another matched uh, another ad bit strategies that you need to, uh, to know about uh, and also we're going to talk about um everything that they released that newer that there wasn't there before and i'm going to explain it a little bit in depth as well so let's go ahead and jump in, into my uh, uh into my screen and let's talk about the changes that happen okay so uh this is everything is going to be blurred here guys i'm sorry but i just want to make sure i protect everything here uh but what the main thing that happened it's here uh, the display itself actually as a whole is being changed before we used not to have the graph and i know this is um you guys are accustomed to it right now but six seven eight months ago we weren't we didn't have this actually before 2000 beginning of 2019 the end of 2018 i believe uh all the stuff we didn't have them we used to have just regular stuff without any graph and here's going to be customizable the way you want so for example if i want to see only spend i want to see sales i want to see a cost impression whatever you think is good and also you can add another metrics and you can remove some metrics so here for example if you want it you can add another one for clicks or cost per click or click through rate or orders and these are all or important things that you can add so with a glance uh, with with just a glance you'll be able to know to tell exactly what's going on in your business and you can dig deeper if there's something really fishy or is not working very well okay so this is how the first one the first things that they have done and the, the one of the changes that you can customize the front page or display which is really important now my best best features that i'm really 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 like is create portfolios portfolios is basically creating a folder for a specific product and adding the related campaigns to that specific folder so for example before we used to have a lot let's say if you have multiple products and you have to create all the campaigns used to make sure that you name them very accurately or in a specific way to make sure if you come in and you you uh, sort them out you'll be able to find those specific campaigns for that specific product and they're going to be all over the place it's very hard to manage was really really gross i think was really tedious i hated it and um, it took a while until I understood how you structure your campaign name your ad group name to make sure it's really good i still have a good practice i still have uh, i still do it until now it's this habit that i always manage my campaigns in a specific way so easier for me to read the ad report later on but the portfolio you create portfolio you come here you create portfolio you can name it whatever you want and let's say i don't know um test uh test ppc two because that's part two okay create portfolio and then it's going to show you all all the campaigns like here is going to say add groups add campaigns to so that specific 
test PVC. It's going to show you all this. All going to be bl blurred. I'm sorry. Uh, but you're going to choose whatever you want from campaigns that you're going to read on the left side and you'll be able to add them. So I can add, add whatever I want whenever a uh, campaign that's related to that specific uh, product that I'm trying to put up all in one folder. This is really, 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 when I say really, a beautiful, 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 beautiful uh, touch from Amazon. And I am really happy with it. So, and also if you go modify, you can change the name again if you want, which is really a good feature. We have flexibility. Before it used to be very hard to change the name. It was almost impossible. It's hard, but now you can change whatever you want. Now, this is the second thing. So first thing, the display. The second one is create portfolio. Now, let's talk about placement and other things that Amazon did. Now, if I go, let's say, for one of the campaigns or one of the portfolios, I so see that's portfolio I created, and then I have multiple campaigns underneath. I'm sorry if that's going to be blurred, but let's say I'm getting my first campaign, and if I come here, you will see some changes. So I have a campaign. Now I move to the ad group level. You're going to see something called placement and campaign setting, which is a lot of good things here happen. So here at the campaign, you come to the ad group level, you see ad group, you're going to see all the ad groups that you have here. I'm sorry if it's going to blur it again, but you will see all your uh, ad groups that you created. Now, if I go to placement and this feature is really good and it's really awesome, which is, I think it could be used very well and could be not done correctly, but let's see what it is. So here placement is basically is going to tell you a placement. A placement is where you want. Now you have control of your ad to tell your ad. Hey, I want you to show me for the top of the search of the first page, which is I'm just let me uh, open up this one. So the first one top of search first page. So hey, I want you to show me on the top of first page for those keywords or for those campaigns or ad groups that I have. The second one is going to be product page. Product page is basically, as I showed you, you click on a listing and on the product page itself, you're going to find yourself. And then the rest of the search were the other places that I mentioned, whether it's a uh, um, uh, second page, third page, whether it's in the, uh, a la car, uh, add, add to cart or whatever other placement that Amazon wants to put you on, which is really amazing. Now, this is important criteria. I usually do not do this in the beginning of a launch. I do it after when I optimizing, when I'm iterating my uh, my um, my campaigns. So I always let it run for a while. And now here, I'm sorry, if I come here and it's going to be the same information, impression, click, click through rate and everything that you need to understand. But here the importance. I see the like, for example, ACOS. Look, my whole average 36.99, let's say uh, ACOS, 63% uh, ACOS, which is I'm kind of losing money in ACOS because I'm spending more than what I'm generating or I am more um, I am losing more money with it, which is we're going to talk more about depth on ACOS average cost of sale and how you calculate it when you create campaigns or optimizing for now. Uh, usually, let's say 30, which whatever your profit margin is, let's say 35. That's where you want it to be at. If anything more, you're losing money, anything less than 35 percent you are making money. So now here we're losing money. We're almost losing double. Now here, which is very important, product page. Product page is actually 17.5 and I get 11 orders. Here I get four orders. What does that mean? That means I'm converting much better at product pages than, than uh, first at top of the first page. And that's a big indication for me. That means if I come and adjust my bid higher, okay? If I come and say, hey, I bid in my main campaign one dollar. Okay, if I go here and I put a hundred. Okay, let me just take another zero. That means I'm telling Amazon, hey, I'm bidding a dollar on those keywords in my campaigns. But if you had the chance to uh, show me the product pages by spending a little bit more, go ahead and do it. And if you uh, if you want me to show me at the first top of first page, hey. I'm allowing you to go more by that much percentage from the initial bid. So if my $1, I'm telling him here for this specific, I'm trying to go up to $2. If I go in top page and I put, let's say 50%, that means I'm trying to go up to $1.50 more. You see that? So now I'm controlling where I want to show up according to how my product is converting. 
and that's the placement which is really 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 a cool thing to do i know there's some tricks out there uh lower the bed uh, lower the bed and then just jack up these ones to have uh, to uh, to have uh, more control on the top page uh first page top of search position or placement i'm not a big fan of it uh, i think here in this case i think we debunked it uh, because we said hey as you see in this one is actually the product page it has more power has more profit profitability than the top of uh, uh, top of search and uh, top of search in the first page so you see that if i let the course if i let the campaign mature enough i'll be able to find out these now negative keyword which is going to talk about later which is uh, you know, negative in keyword that you really don't want or not performing very well. Now, campaign setting, uh, campaign setting, uh, which is really, 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 really cool. Uh, campaign setting here where I can have, uh, where I can have the, um, uh, the uh, um, here where I can change the name as much as I want. Uh, if I want to change the name later on or I messed up the names and then I want to change them, you can change them here. Uh, this is, sorry, is going to be blurred. It's going to be the, campaign ID uh, and also is going to be a portfolio so if you have a created portfolio as I mentioned before it's going to show you which portfolio was in and you can you can change it to whatever portfolio you want uh, now here is active is delivering how much the budget and now this is that everyone is talking about when you create a campaign those settings are showing up when you create your manual campaigns and I'm going to explain them you can get access to them here or when once you create a campaign which is we'll get to when we get to that stage but now dynamic bid down only then you have which is called campaign bidding strategies uh, you have dynamic bid down only you have dynamic bid up and down and then you have fixed bids what are what are the differences between them and that's very very important now guys for dynamic bid only so when I create my campaign I'm telling Amazon hey listen I am want you to bid up to one dollar, let's say, okay. But you have up to one dollar to bid. I want you to make sure that you bid the highest possible up to one dollar for the keywords that really convert well or have the likelihood of me making a sale. Or if you find a specific search term that I am that I'm bidding up to one dollar, but I'm not converting very well, lower my bid as much as possible for me. And this is what used to be from uh, to, uh, anything before 2019. That's how the dynamic bid used to be. Before, PPC used to be only have the dynamic bid uh, down only. Dynamic bids down only. That's it. Didn't have those two options. But now they're giving us those options to explore and do more about. So this is what dynamic down only. Now, dynamic bids up and down. It's basically you telling Amazon, you have $1, okay, for each keyword. If I'm converting very well. And you think I'm gonna? There's increased chance of likelihood that I'm gonna make a sale. Increase my bid by maximum of hundred percent. So if I spend a dollar, go ahead and spend two dollar. If you make sure that I'm gonna convert well on it, and you do the opposite. If a keyword I'm not doing very well, lower my bid. Okay. So this is like a hybrid between uh, dynamic bid down only and uh, dynamic bid up only if it's if it's there so it's going to be two so raise my price uh raise my bid if i'm there's more likelihood i'm going to make sale and decrease it if i'm not going to make uh money that's what dynamic bid uh up and down now fixed bids which means which is really cool is basically i'm telling amazon do not give me your assumptions i don't want you to decide for me what's good and not good I want you to bid that much regardless if I'm going to make a sale or not. So if I put a dollar, you show me whatever this dollar worth, what whatever position. Do not tell me, hey, is, you're not going to convert, so I'm not going to show you. Or I'm not going to bid as high. And if I am, uh, if you're doing well, I'm going to increase your bid. No, I'm just telling them, this is what I want. Regardless, I'm losing or winning. I want that much bid. And that's it. That's what fixed bids mean. And each one of them has its own way of using and we're going to get to that into campaigns when we create campaigns and understanding the mash tab and understanding if you're in the launch stage or you are in, in the maintenance mode, whatever it is, we're going to get into. But for now, these are the differences between them and adjust bid by placement 
is the same thing what we have in a placement. You can change it here as well. You can tell, hey, you can increase by 900%, which is I feel is too much. But if I say, hey, I prefer you show me in the top of uh, top of search, and I put 100%, it's gonna bid me two dollar. If I put 300, it's gonna show me four dollars. And here is gonna give you all the stuff you need. And if you want product page, only prefer to attack product pages. You can do the same thing. So let me go back. This is all the new features that Amazon has, uh, which is are really, 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 really important, guys. And I think you should utilize them as much as possible because they're very crucial. And I think understanding the basics and building foundation, understanding those features exist is going to help you as a person to make better decisions or better campaigns that suits your product because every product has different strategy. Even if I'm going to give you a campaign, it's going to be different for uh, for everybody. But that's the general rule. But you can you put your own spin, find what's best for your product or not. OK, so guys, I hope you really like that second part of PPC. I hope you understood what the new features of PPC. Uh, they're very important. Now you're aware of them. You know what they do. I explained them. Uh, really in a good way. I believe in a good way. <laughs> I, uh, at, at least I believe I did. But if you don't, if you didn't understand, if there's anything wasn't clear, please leave another comment and please subscribe. Hit the like button because we want to show up. We want to help other people. I don't want to. I want to help everyone that possible. I want this video to reach to everybody. So please like it. Help me to help other people because I really, really, genuinely, I feel um, a lot of people need help. And as I said, this this uh, this channel is about honesty, transparency, and integrity. I want to make sure I deliver that to people. So please, if you have any comment, leave it and hit the notification bell. So every time I show up for the, uh, every time I come up and I'm, uh, on YouTube, you can um, you can see me first and you can get the information as as uh, as fast as possible. So tune in. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next part, which is part number three about PPC. And hopefully, we'll talk about the campaigns and match types. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.